Konnichiwa once again from Japan. Okay, why magnesium chloride? I want you to think about your muscle contracting. Uh, when you make a muscle, your brain says a signal to your nerves, which gets to the muscle, and then your muscle releases some calcium, and ching, you contract. When you want to let go, your brain again sends another signal to your muscle, and then it releases some magnesium, and you let go. That's the main thing. Uh, calcium causes contract, your body to contract, to be tense, and magnesium causes you just to relax and to let go. Uh, when you breathe in, or when you take magnesium, um, you just feel relaxed. It's a very uh, alpha molecule. It's just, it's just calm, cool, collected. It's just, it's, it's, just, it's just relaxed. Calcium is more of your, your beta, your fight or flight molecule. You're like, oh, all tense, all worried, all nervous. Um, no matter where it is in the body, if you get your magnesium levels high, you'll just be, that area will be more relaxed, uh, less likely to just have uh, spasms or contractions in general. Um, now, in your lungs, if, at least when I take it, and there's uh, at least one clinical study that I know of, uh, when you take magnesium with uh, al albuterol, sorry, it's a asthma medication. I used to have asthma as a kid, but, um, I never went the path of inhalers. I said, no, I'm going to kick this, I'm going to kick it, I'm going to kick it. Uh, I talked to a few people, they, they said they got rid of their asthma by running, and so that's what I did from uh, grade 8 to grade 12. I just ran my ass off. Massive asthma attacks, massive, massive asthma attacks. Uh, oh, I'm practically crying from that one. Um, yeah, massive asthma attacks. Uh, until finally in grade 12, I had one asthma attack. I just ran home, and it lasted about six I think six hours long, maybe just about six hours, five and a half, six hours, just cough and wheeze and cough and wheeze and, and um, but I kept coughing stuff up, spitting stuff out, and I had already been doing this for five years, and I guess that was sort of a breakthrough. Uh, within a few months of running, after that, it was basically gone. It came back one more time, and uh, ever since that point, it's been gone. Uh, I've met many people that have ran and. Uh, they got rid of their asthma through uh, running. Unfortunately, I've met almost as many people that tried that. They tried it for years and years, massive asthma attacks. They think they're gonna die, it, it, asthma just sucks, but, um, and yeah, it just didn't work for them. Um, okay, but anyways, back to, back to uh, COVID-19 here. Um, there's some clinical trials with uh, albuterol and magnesium uh, sulfite or sulfate, uh, that if you mix them together, it doubles the effectiveness. Uh, just again, uh, calcium causes you to contract, magnesium to relax, so when they did the puffer, and they added some magnesium sulfate to it, um, it just doubled the effectiveness. It just really opened things up. Um, why didn't I take magnesium sulfate, uh, also known as Epsom salts? Um, partly because, uh, I really don't, well, they're both, both of them taste nasty. Uh, magnesium sulfate is disgusting. Magnesium chloride is disgusting. But in general, uh, I find for me, and I'm guessing most people, you'll have a better tolerance to magnesium chloride. Some people have uh, sulfate sensitivities, and if they inhale magne magnesium uh, sulfate or Epsom salts, they can have a massive, massive uh, asthma attack, uh, constrictions, all sorts of stuff. And I don't know of any such thing with magnesium chloride. Again, don't take my word on it. Uh, do your own research on it. Uh, do your due, due diligence. But anyways, uh, so for me, why I'm taking the magnesium chloride, um, just to relax, get everything opened up. If it's constricted, it'll just cause it to open up just as best as it can. And uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, um, good luck. I hope you don't get the virus. If you do, um, all the best. Okay, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.